Okay, continuing with our Android series, we're looking at working with uh, boot animations. And um, again, this is kind of a more advanced tutorial. Uh, so I assume that you already know how to unlock your bootloader, get into fast boot, uh, and get into twerk, which I already am in here on my device. And you've watched previous video where I showed you where the boot animation is located, how to pull and push it to the device. Now we're gonna pull it apart and we're gonna look at it more. Now on my desktop here, I'm into my downloads folder. I have three files currently. I have two videos and then I have a zip file. The zip file is the stock animation that I pulled from uh, the phone. So you would normally uh, go in there, you would mount the system, which we'll do in a moment, and then you would pull that off. Uh, but once you do that, you can just unzip it. But I'm going to unzip it to its own directory, so I'm going to make directory, and I'll just call it stock, and I'll move into stock, and then I'll say unzip, uh, and I'll go from the upper directory, stock boot animation dot zip. And that will give us a few files here. It gives us a PNG file and a text file, which we're not going to worry about much in this uh, video. So in this video, we're going to be looking at making um, video animations for your boot screen. Uh, you can do, on some devices you can do video, but then you can also do a series of images which we'll look at in the next video. I like, I think the videos are a little bit easier, easier to add sound stuff, less options you have to put into that text file. The text file, again, we'll talk about more in the next video, but it tells it basically what to loop and when, and what to play and when. If you uh, cat it out, we'll just look at it real quick, it just tells you, it just has a one, and a zero, a zero, and a one, most likely. You can get a little more advanced with it, but we're not going to worry about that too much in this video. If I was to play these files, I'll just use MPV, which is my uh, video player, and I will play both those files. They should play in a row, so it's a cube that I, or I'm sorry, we're not at the one I made yet. This is the stock one. So here's the stock Motorola. It plays this fancy little animation. Doo, 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 doo. Lots of noisy sounds that you're not hearing right now. And then it gets to hear that little, the flashy Motorola is the loop, and the loop uh, which is the one that is labeled as Moto Loop in this case, it will play um, continuously until the system's ready to boot. So if your system's still doing stuff, it will continue to play that. If it's ready to uh, load, it will just play it once and then go into the system. And again, your files might be named different, but they'll probably they'll be in a numeric order. Uh, but for your device, you can just go ahead and pull them down, unzip it, and then replace them. And as you can see right here, when I played it, it tells us right here on this particular phone, it's a 1080p. It's In this case, it's 1080 by 920 because it's vertical, uh, which in most cases, I hate vertical video, but on the phone for a boot animation, it does make sense, although you don't have to do it that way. But we're gonna replace that with um, an animation I made in Blender, which looks something like this. So this is it in Blender. It's just a short little loop, which I cut into two files. Um, it's one where this cube is zooming out and it rotates once and then I have it uh, rotating multiple, you know, a few times for the loop. So I'll end that. I've rendered those out and they are currently in my downloads directory here. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to copy uh, both those MP4s that I've created and I'm going to put them into the current directory, just overriding those. Now, if I play out those files again, you'll see my animation. There you go. Now, again, this is an animation that I created. All you have to do is make sure, basically, I think it's, it's very flexible on what it could be, like as far as frame rate and stuff, but you want an MP4 format and you want the proper resolution. And then just, uh, like I said, if you extract your, your um, stock animation, just rename it the files that are there. Uh, otherwise you can name it other stuff, but that's just way you know you don't mess anything up and things are going to play in the right order. Um, now all we have to do is zip it up, but you have to zip it up a certain way. I'm going to use zip, and normally I just be able to say zip, and I'm going to put it, I'm going to call it boot animation dot zip. The dot dot slash is I'm putting it in an upper directory from here, uh, and then I would say asterisk for all, but that won't work. But it's very simple. You just do dash zero, not O, but zero, Q, R, Y. Now you can look up in the man directory, man file for um, zip to see what those options mean. But those are the options you need for Android to properly use this zip file. And that is it. Now we just push it to the device like we did in the last video. So 
right here here it is so again in, I'm in this directory I have these videos which we don't care about anymore the stock folder that we struck to the original stock boot animation that we can push to the device and then we have the the one we just created so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adb shell uh, again I'm already in twerp let me go ahead and turn on the screen here so you can see and you can mount uh, it in here by going to mount and saying unchecking where it says read only and mounting the system but again we'll do it from the shell that we don't have to reach over to the phone at all and I will just say mount device uh, block and then it might be under boot device might be something else we're looking for by name and we're looking for our system and we're gonna mount that on system and as I talked about in the previous video this phone is a little bit different than most devices. You should normally find your boot animation under system media, but on this particular one, it's under system system media, just to be inconsist inconsistent about things. Um, ignore those warnings, but there it is right there. So that's where we're gonna push it to. I'm gonna exit out of my phone, and I'm gonna use ADB to push our boot animation zip. We're gonna push it to this folder here. And that is it. Now on the phone, I can go home, reboot, system, do not install. Maybe we can focus the camera a little bit here. There we go. And it will show this still image for Motorola, but then it should play my little animation. And again, we'll talk uh, about some of these other images and how they're actually partitions uh, in a future video, hopefully, if I get to it. I got a lot of things I wanna talk about. There we go, there's my boot animation. Come on, focus. Sorry about that, but you can see that it's playing and it looped and then that's it. So you can put any video on there. Obviously you don't want it to be too long. <laughs> you just wanna make sure it's the right resolution for your screen. Uh, you name them proper order and then you zip it up that proper way and replace it and that is it. That is how you create your own video animation. Now, again, if you go to your device, you pull the stock image, the, the stock uh, zip file for the boot animation, which I do recommend you do and have a backup copy of, uh, and then extract that look at, and it doesn't have video files, it has still images. We'll look at that more in the next video. But again, you can basically just replace those images. Uh, and I don't think it's picky about, I, I think it could be PNGs or JPEGs. I don't think it's very particular. But uh, you also have to zip it up the same way, though. But we'll look at that in the next video. Again, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something new. My website is filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There is a link in the description of this video. Go ahead there. Check that out. Um, and if you like my videos, you can support me. There's a support section there. You can look at the links in the description of the video as well. You can support me through PayPal or Patreon. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.